you back again with another quick bowls uh, model showcase. Now, typically when we do this, we show the completed models. We do like 360s of everything like that. I wanted to take a little bit different approach. Obviously, we're going to be covering Blood Bowl today. And uh, we're not going to... Well, let me just show you here real quick. I've actually already assembled six of the orcs. And uh, something dawned on me when I was doing this. I was like, these, these models go together surprisingly well. And just really more like ridiculously well. Uh, for instance, here's the Blitzer. This Orc Blitzer is just phenomenal. The, the sculpt on it looks amazing. Uh, I bet most folks at home wouldn't even be able to tell me where the cut lines are on this model because it's that well put together. So just to show you what I'm talking about here, I actually have, this is, this is the, the full sprue of the Orcs, and I'll zoom out so you can see. This is one of the two sprues. I actually have the second sprue right here. So uh, I've only got to build the model one time. And I haven't cut out everything on the sprue yet because I haven't just haven't got around to it. But I was building these and I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to put one of these together. So I'm going to go ahead and build one of these models live on camera just because, again, it's so ridiculously easy. So you move these to the side so you can still see them. And we're just going to we're just going to build some today if, if you guys are cool with that. So I'll show you some of my techniques that I use when I build stuff. Uh, hopefully I don't slice my thumb off. And uh, you guys can make fun of me in the comments if I do. So here we go. Uh, today I'm going to start with the Bruiser. Or sorry, the Blitzer. That's that's this big orc that is probably my favorite model of the bunch. Um, it just goes together so well. So first off, let me move this and I'll go over my tools real fast so you guys can see. Uh, I have some clippers, really high quality clippers. I've been told these are really nice, so awesome. I've got an X-Acto knife. It's just a, this is a, was actually, I believe, a, a Gale Force 9 or, or something like that. Or maybe it was a Citadel. I don't know. But it was just a, one I've had. Yeah, it's purple. I, I don't know. Uh, I have replaced the tips. Uh, occasionally, I will use these. These are the Excel. Uh, yeah, these are the type of ones that I use because they're really sharp. Uh, this, yeah. So anyway, moving on. <laughs> so those are the tips. Oh, one last tool that I use. I also use uh, this Model Master liquid cement for plastic models. This is the plastic glue I'm always talking about. It will actually melt the plastic just enough to where it actually bonds the figure completely so that if you ever drop a model, it just is one solid thing and it, it bounces and it doesn't, doesn't break. So that's the stuff I use. This is from uh, Testers, I believe, or something like that, Model Master. I'm sure you guys can find it online. There's, there's a million of that stuff. One last tool that I never ever talk about. I have a dirty rag. I use this to wipe off my glue and paint brushes and stuff like that. It's just something I keep around. You can see it's got a bunch of spare bits all over it. <laughs> so let's get to building, right? So first thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna clip off all of the, uh, the, the, the blitzer bits here. Say that three times fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and just show you guys how to do that real fast. Let me walk you through this last part too, what I'm doing. I'm actually taking the, the flat flat part of the uh, the clippers here. You can see how this part's got a bit of an angle. This is flat. I've got the two bits I've already cut out. It's only a three part model, so it's really not that difficult. Um, this top part here is what we're doing. So I'm taking the flat part of the, of the clippers and I'm putting it against the flat part of the model and I'm clipping right there to get a nice smooth cut, as smooth as possible. We're still gonna need to go back and uh, clean up the model, but I'm doing that going around the model uh, and, and making those clips there as close as I can to the, the, the plastic and trying to do this with a camera in a way is not easy. I can't see. All right, there we go. And do that there. It should pop off. So that's just the three parts that make the blitzer. So there you go. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too complicated, right? Now, let's go ahead and get my X-Acto blade here, and we're going to do some cleaning real fast. This is just, you don't have to do this right now. As a matter of fact, I could put the model together right now and, and you wouldn't notice, but uh, I'm pet peeve. I just like to clean off the, the snip parts real fast, so I'm going to go around the model here, and I'm just going to take the, the sharp end of my blade. I know you're supposed to cut away from yourself, but um, I find this gives me a lot more control, so I'm just going to scrape that off there and kind of get that down so we have a nice smooth surface. I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Even though, you know, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, you're not gonna see this stuff because this is actually the slot that's gonna go in the base. So whatever, I like to clean that off. And I'm gonna wipe that on my handy rag. And that's pretty much it as far as uh, snip points on this model. 
are on this bit for the model. The next part is the bruiser top. Same thing, I've got a lot of flash that I need to clean off here, so let me get that. Trying not to scrape off any details. That little part right in there in between two spikes, very tricky, but got it. I like to go uh, from both sides that I'm scraping just to make sure it's nice and flat. Don't want to get those, I want to get that bit. That's a little piece of flash there. Scrape it off. You want to just get it smooth so that when you prime these models, paint these models, um, it'll cover up anything. If you notice, I do have my thumb touching the blade. If, as long as you don't slice this way and keep it you know, relatively tight, hopefully you won't cut your thumb off. I have done it, even though I've been modeling for years, doing, doing building models for years, I have cut myself. But just be careful, do it slow, there's no rush. Um, it's part of the hobby that I enjoy. So clean that off and we got a couple more little snippets here that I'm gonna go through. So same deal, looking for those little things, scraping them down, making them nice and flush, and just cleaning up any kind of flash so that when you paint and prime these models, you won't notice them really nice and smooth. So one more little bit right here, just do that one. Voila, clean all my area. Try not to get stabbed on the spikes. And we're all set. So there's those three bits. Okay. So this is the fun part. <laughs> we're going to assemble the model. I've also got one of the bases here. This is a 32 millimeter slot. Slot of base is what we used to call them back in the day. Um, real quick, I like to dry fit the model first. So just to make sure I know where everything's gonna go. So obviously there's a peg there, there's a head there. That's gonna go like that. And then the top here is gonna fit like so. Now, I'm actually gonna pop the head off. It's gonna slide in like that, and then you're gonna do this. Now, cool part about this model, it's done. That, that's it. Like, we're like six minutes into the video, and we're done. Uh, you can't really look at this model and tell me where the seams are without knowing where the seams are. Um, it's actually pretty sturdy. Uh, you, you don't even need glue. <laughs> That's the amazing part about the rest of these models. They go together the exact same way. You could just dry fit them and put them in a slot of base and you're good to go. Now, I, I personally am, am not a fan of just leaving them like this because if you drop them from a high enough point, it, it may break the model, but they also come off super easy. I'm gonna glue it together with my fancy dandy liquid cement plastic glue stuff here. And this is why I keep my, my rag around too, just to, Make sure the tip is nice and clean because just any buildup. So I'm gonna put the glue on the contact points. Um, you don't have to use glue as you saw, but I prefer to do it. Plus with this stuff, what's great about it is once this, once this glue uh, solidifies or does its thing, whatever, melting it, bonds everything, it, again, you, you're not gonna be able to see any of those joints because it'll be so well you know, solidified. So I'm gonna put the top part on first. The other cool thing about this, this type of glue is you can actually get it on your fingers and it just kind of does that. Take a handy rag, wipe it off, no problem there. I'm gonna take the head, pop that in there, pop that in place. <clears throat> done and done. You can barely, there, there's where the seam would be, but you can't really tell because of the way the model is designed. It's such a good job, so. The model's done. Again, you didn't have to add glue. I do. Um, once the drew, once the glue sets, give it. I like to give it at least an hour to, to rest. Um, some people will go as long as 24 hours. Whatever tickles your fancy, floats your boat. Um, go for it. And I'm just gonna slide him in the slot of base, pop him down, and he is set. That is it. That model is now ready to rock on the pitch, the field, whatever you want to call it. Done and done. So let me clean that up and then I'm gonna put the cap back on. That's it. There's five more models to go on this sprue and then I'll have the full 12 man work team. But as you can see, the model is super easy. There are instructions to, uh, to do this in the box as well. It's in the instruction manual, how to put them all together. Um, but yeah, super easy kit to build. I've still got both human sprues to do, so I'm gonna go do that, but I just wanna show you guys, as I was putting it together, I was like, I have to show how easy this is. These models are fantastic. So that's it. Go pick up your copy of Blood Bowl, whenever it's out. Should be out later November. 
Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go put these together, and we're probably going to play some Blood Bowl games and maybe show off uh, some of that in a future demo. I'm Adam Mayer from Bell Souls. Signing off. Have a good one.